um, chat with you guys about my um, college plan. So, um, first year kind of took me by storm. Um, a lot of unexpected things happened and I was kind of, you know, just like stressed out and trying to figure out, you know, what I want to do with my life. I went into um, George Mason with a computer game design degree. I'm still a computer game design major. I've yet to change it yet. But, you know, I was doing that and I don't know. I just doing game design didn't really like get me excited. And I don't know if it was because of all the like stress and anxiety I was, um, you know, dealing with. I don't know if that was causing me to um you know not get excited about it or if it was because i just genuinely didn't like it so i talked to my mom about it and she basically said that i should try um it so i tried it and you know the concepts were cool and there were some things that i really liked about it but overall it just really bored me so you know, now going into this year, you know, I really want to go into marketing and see how that plays out. And, you know, if I like it, I'll, of course, switch. Um, but yeah, I'm just really trying to, like, figure out my future plans. Because even going to George Mason in general, like, I don't know, it just wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Um, like, I just, I don't know. Because, you know, I had such... I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. I had a horrible high school, middle school, elementary school experience. So I was like, college has to be it. Like, this has to be the time where my life is going to be great. I'm going to have a ton of friends and everything's going to be fine. But it just didn't happen that way. Um, I had kind of a hard time making friends. I mean, don't get me wrong. I met a lot of cool people. Like, I, I met a ton of people. But as far as, like, solid, like, friends that I could like hang out with and talk to all the time I didn't really get that I mean there were a few people that I met here and there and then a lot of the guys that I met they weren't really on that friendship stuff they were on some other stuff so you know I just didn't really get to have like a lot of like you know I don't know I just because I ended up staying cooped up in my room a lot which I didn't want to do but I could never find anyone to do anything with me I had to like eat at the dining hall by myself sometimes and I just felt really like lonely and I'm like what the heck because like I knew George Mason was like a quiet like it's not a party school it's not like James Madison and like Howard where they're like always turned always party and football games stuff like that like george mason's really quiet which i didn't mind because you know i'm quiet but i'm still social i still like to go out and hang out with my friends and do stuff but it just seemed like everybody kind of had their own agenda and something else that i've noticed too that even other people have said is that it seems like people kind of come to George Mason with their clique of friends already so it's like you try to make friends but then they already have their other friends and you're kind of just I don't know it just I don't know I mean, I'm hoping going into this school year it's um better and then I make more friends and I keep myself like occupied and stuff like that but I don't know like I've been I have been considering other options because I see people from other schools and it seems like their school has like more events and more like like it's more energetic and it's more like college where I feel like George Mason is such a commuter school and there's not a lot of things going on there aren't a lot of you know I'm, I'm not I'm not a partier but it'd be nice that there were like more events I could go to and you know it just seems like people just come here to just you know take their class and then they just go like a lot of people don't even stay on campus I know part of the reason of that is because there's lack of housing which I get but I don't know. I just was expecting it to be more like, I don't know. I don't want to say like what you see on TV, but I wanted it to be, you know, like a more fun experience than what it was. And if anything, I mean, there were like a few good moments here and there, but I don't know. It's just, it wasn't like I thought it was. And I know you're going to have that anywhere you go, but you're going to have shady people anywhere you go. You're going to have... 
Like, if you're not the type of person that just draws people in, it's not just going to change because you go somewhere else. But I just was hoping to make more solid friendships, especially because I had such a hard time in school. And, like, even now, I feel like I don't really have a lot of like, any close friends, really. I mean, I have people that, I'm, that I talk to from time to time. But as far as, like, someone that I'm really close to that I, like, tell everything to and that I hang out with all the time and stuff I don't really have that and you know I was really looking forward to having that because you think you know all, all of us freshmen you know we're all new here this is we're having the same first year experience together like that it would be easier to make friends like at least among the freshmen but I don't know and I don't know if it was something that I did I don't know but I just been considering a lot of stuff like considering my major considering if i still want to go to george mason at this point i've been you know debating if i want to go to an hbcu because before i was like you know i don't want to go to an hbcu i want to go to you know a diverse school i want to go to a school that has all kinds of people because my high school was semi-diverse you know um and a lot of the times growing up, I felt like I didn't fit in with the other black people. So I'm like, I don't want to go to an all black school because they're not even going to probably accept me. Um, so yeah, that's why I wanted to go to George Mason because they're supposed to be the most diverse college in Virginia, which they are. But I don't know. It's just, but you know, you see schools like Howard and Hampton and like, they seem like they have a lot of fun all the time. And it's easy for them to like, make friends and be social and george mason is like everyone's on their own agenda you know everyone's just doing their own thing and everyone's too busy to hang out and it's just i don't know like i've even found because i've been told like oh why don't you just talk to strangers just try to get to know strangers so and you know clubs too like i would go to club meetings and i would try to start conversations with new people that I didn't know, try to make some friends. Um, there's like one girl that I um, made friends with. Um, and there's one group that I'm in, they had a activity where you had to, um, everyone was given a card and you had to find like your match or whatever. And once you found that person, you had to give them your name, your major, um, and stuff like that so I made a friend through that and you know that was great but I want more of that you know like I want to you know make more friends I feel like everyone's just so like awkward and I don't know I mean I'm awkward too but I feel like I'm pretty easy to get along with um, for the most part so I don't know we'll see how this next year goes I think this year will be it will determine like what I want to do moving forward because I just I just want my life to get better you know and I feel like I keep running into the same obstacles and I'm trying different things I'm trying to meet new people and you know be social and not try too hard but I don't know we'll just we'll see but yeah I just wanted to get on camera and talk about how I was feeling about college and stuff like that um comment down below um if you guys are experiencing the same thing uh you guys have ended up transferring schools and you know why um, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.